I've plugged in here the uh, external antenna. This is the MLA30 on this uh, uh, Shoyong LC90 uh, portable receiver, a smart radio. Um, so you've heard on 5450 the uh, United Kingdom um, Air Force. You've heard on 5505 the Shannon Ireland Volmet. And this is 6606 upper sideband because it doesn't have CW, so technically it's 6607 4XZ, the uh, Israeli uh, Navy station. Uh, it's a very sensitive radio, uh, that there's no doubt. It does overload a little bit because um, if you listen closely to the previous um, Shannon and uh, the Royal Air Force Volmet, you, you'll notice there's a slight uh something in the background and um it it does overload a little bit so this is uh to take into account when you put an external antenna it might be a little too much sometimes but um you know it's it's kind of cool now let's test something that i had so i'm gonna go on 13600 i'm gonna put ourselves in AM mode and see if there's birdies when an external antenna is there. So let's check that out. Okay, so the internal birdies are there when the telescopic antenna is there, but there are none when an external antenna is there which means the external antenna shields everything and it goes to the MLE 30 outside and the internal birdies are not affecting the reception. And this is good because even though on telescopic birdies are there, it also means that on an external antenna, you might actually have some pretty good reception on this radio. And that is really cool and good news. So here's 15,000. I can actually hear, I think, 14,996. Let's, let's try to go to lower side band and see if we hear RMW Moscow. Some upper sideband. I want to have lower sideband. Well, here you see there's some birdies a little bit. And there's something there. So I don't know if it's. I 
And you can see that the radio is struggling a little bit with, you know, to receive. Uh, the, the external antenna is kind of pushing it to its limits. Let's try uh, New Zealand. So we'll see how hard it is here. Let's do a little experiment here. I'm going to put New Zealand on the uh, Texan H501 X and which is right here so there's no antenna plugged on it you can see the frequency is there I'm just gonna plug in the external antenna to it let's compare the reception of Radio New Zealand So even though it's not the best, it is still better than what we are getting on the uh, this receiver. The audio is there, but you can see there's a mishmash of something else. There's some music, there's all sorts of things, so it seems the MLE-30 is overloading the radio. So. Uh, that's not the best um, the best I, I can I can see on a radio like this so you have either the telescopic antenna with some birdies external antenna doesn't have birdies maybe a shorter antenna or maybe if it was an active loop maybe if it was just you know like um, I, I, I was thinking of maybe a uh, something like the uh, a passive loop or just a wire maybe it could be just better I don't know but uh, definitely has a hard time but you know it's it's a first draft in a big complex radio here so and um, I haven't checked if there's attenuation somewhere on this radio so uh, I'll be checking more of the menus maybe there is some attenuation we can add and make it better but uh, We'll see. More testing to come on the uh, Shoyun uh, LC90 Smart Radio.